That was a response to my M4 GTS video and that car is absolutely incredible. So these got a lot of hate when they came out because they were way overpriced for what they were back then. And dealerships were marking them way up. But now that they've depreciated to below $100,000, this is the closest thing you can get to a 911 GT3 for less than $100,000. So I've driven a regular F82 before and this one is significantly cooler to me, not just because there's only 700 of them so it's way rarer than a GT3 or a regular F82 and not because of the OLED taillights but because the experience of driving this thing is just so much more raw. The interior is a bit more stripped down. It has these fabric door cards instead of like a full leather door insert like regular M4s. It has a half cage, it has a rear seat delete. The wing on the back surprisingly doesn't mess with your visibility as much, especially you already have the roll cage there. So I mean, and yes, the OLED taillights are cool. They're the coolest taillights I've seen BMW come out with in the past like 20 years. Unfortunately, you cannot spec this car with a manual. I think it would be much more fitting with the manual. That being said, the DCT in this is far more dramatic than say a PDK. The PDK definitely feels more refined, but this feels a lot more dramatic like you would expect in a sports car. And I'm not saying the PDK is bad. I'm just saying that for a car that's raw and visceral like this, the DCT that comes in all the M cars, or at least used to come in all the M cars, is far more engaging, if you will. I already know what a lot of y'all are about to say in the comments. Y'all are going to be like, oh, but you can do all these mods to a regular M4, including the meth injection that comes in these cars. You can have probably 80% to 90% of what an M4 GTS is. That being said, if you want something from factory that is 70 yeah, I would say 70% of what a 911 GT3 is for below $100,000, this is the car. I can't tell you whether or not this actually performs as well as a GT3 on track. I was not on a road course pushing it ball to the wall, but I did take this down some back roads to get to the photo shoot location and the driving experience did not disappoint. The argument against these cars is that you can make an F82 faster for cheaper. And while that's true, it's going to take a lot more to recreate the experience that you get in this car.